3.1 estimation of the population mean. Suppose you want to know the mean value of big Y, that is, uh, you sub big Y in a population such as the mean earnings of women recently graduated from college. The natural way to estimate this mean is to compute the sample average of big Y bar from a sample of n independent and identically distributed IID uh, observations big Y sub 1 through big Y sub n recall that big Y sub 1, sub 1 through big Y sub n are independently and identically distributed if they are collected by simple random sampling this section discusses discusses estimation of mu sub a big Y and the properties of a big Y bar as an estimator of mu sub a big Y Estimators and their properties. Estimators, the sample average big Y bar, is a natural way to estimate mu sub big Y, but it is not the only way. For example, another way to estimate mu sub big Y is simply to use the first observation of big Y sub 1. Both big Y bar and big Y sub 1 are functions of the data that are designed to estimate big Y sub 1, uh, excuse me, mu sub big Y. Using the terminology in Key Concept 3.1, both are estimators of mu sub big Y. When evaluated in repeated samples, big Y bar and big Y sub 1 take on different values. They produce different estimates from one sample to the next. Thus, the estimators big Y bar and big Y sub 1 both have sampling distributions. Uh, there are, in fact, many estimators of mu sub big Y, of which big Y bar and mu sub big Y are two examples. I'm going to read key concept 3.1 estimators and estimates. An estimator is a function of a sample of data to be drawn randomly from a population. An estimate is the numerical value of the estimator when it is actually computed using data from a specific sample. An estimator is a random variable because of randomness in selecting the sample, while an estimate is a non-random number. Returning to the text, there are many possible estimators, so what makes one estimator better than another? Because estimators are random variables, this question can be phrased more precisely. What are the desirable characteristics of the sampling distribution of an estimator? In general, we would like an estimator that gets close as close as possible to the unknown true value, that is, in some average sense. In other words, we would like the sampling distribution of an estimator to be as tightly centered on the unknown value as possible. This observation leads to three specific desirable characteristics of an estimator. Unbiasedness, a lack of bias, consistency, and efficiency. Unbiasedness which is a lack of bias. Suppose you elevate, excuse me, suppose you evaluate an estimator many times over repeated randomly drawn samples. It is reasonable to hope that on average you would get the right answer. Thus, a desirable property of an estimator is that the mean of its sampling distribution equals mu sub big Y. If so, the estimator is said to be unbiased. To state this concept mathematically, let mu sub big Y hat denote some estimator of mu sub big Y, such as uh, big Y bar or big Y sub 1. Open bracket. The caret uh, hat notation will be used throughout this text to denote an estimator so mu sub big y hat is an estimator of mu sub big y close bracket the estimator mu sub big y hat is unbiased if big e of mu sub big y hat equals mu sub big y where big e of mu sub big y hat is the mean of the sampling distribution of mu sub big y hat Otherwise, mu sub big y hat is biased.